everyone, my name's Annette and welcome back to Cotto Verdi. Today I'm going to show you a very exciting delivery I've had from a company called Farmer Gracie. I've ordered from Farmer Gracie before and I've always been delighted with the products they've sent me. They've been really good quality. I also really like their website. They've got really good photos so you can see exactly what you're getting. And on all the products they have a lot of information which is really helpful when you're choosing stuff. Today I'm going to show you what I've ordered and the quality of the products that arrive. Um, I've got some dahlias and I've got some perennials. So with the perennials I'll pot them up in exactly the same way that I've potted other things up in my previous videos. You can take a look at that. And with the dahlias I'm going to put them into storage in the garage for a week or two because I'm not quite ready to get my dahlias out yet. It's still a bit cold here and we've got a while before we're frost free. I think we're not frost free until the middle of May. Um, it could be the end of April. And if I take my dahlias out of storage now or pot these ones up, then they will start to get too big and I'll have no way to protect them uh, before the last frosts. So I'm not gonna pot them up yet and they'll be absolutely fine. So everything is compact like this. So everything comes with really good labels on them. And these ones have got stickers on saying that they're packed in peat-free compost, which is really important to me. What I'm going to do is go through everything that I've got and I'll put it up on the screen. So I've got three raspberry truffle echinaceas. So I've got an echinacea called Milkshake. Very excited about that one. So some of them I've only bought one and I just intend to grow that for a year and then I'll try and split it next year and increase my stock that way and that's more economical for me. So I've got three Phlox Rembrandt. Perhaps I should show you what these look like. So I'm going to open one of the bags and show you. Oop, I'm gonna make a big mess. So it's got lots of growth points. It's a really good chunk with great root systems. This compost is not wet, but it's nice and moist. And so I think that's really healthy and I'm absolutely delighted. I'll, I'm just gonna pot these up today. So I'm going to stick them in pots outside and I will keep them outside. I've got Phlox Hercules. This is supposed to grow absolutely enormous with huge seed heads. So I'm very excited about those and I think I've got three of those. So I've got Echinacea Virgin. I've got three Phlox Green Lion and the Green Lion look like they don't actually have any flowers. Um, it's just kind of like a green ball on the end. I have not seen these in real life and I'm very excited um, about growing them and seeing what they look like and I will show you in a later video. So I've got three apricot pearl geums. I mean these look absolutely gorgeous on the website. I love the colour. And then I've got some delphiniums. So I have got mystery sensation, polar sensation and rainbow sensation. And then I've got a Veronicastrum called Fascination. Three Astrantia clarets. Really, I think it's the darkest red Astrantia that you can get. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's true. And I've got Sanguisorba Proud Mary. And then I've also got a poppy called Marlene. This is a gorgeous sort of purpley red poppy. And you can see that it's desperate to get potted up. It's got some shoots already. And now we get down to my new dahlias. I can't wait to show you what I've ordered. So, I have got three American Dawn, one brown sugar, can't wait to see that. I've got three creme de cassis, and the reason I've bought creme de cassis is because I lost my whole stock of creme de cassis and I really love them, so I just had to get myself some more. I've got one called Fancy Pants, which just looks so cute, I can't wait to grow that. I've got three tubers of Great Silence. I've got one tuber of Happy Butterfly. I have one tuber of Honka Rose. I've got a dahlia called Maya. A dahlia called Sweet Suzanne. Teesbrook Audrey. I've got one Thomas A. Edison. It looks really beautiful. And I have one tuber of Wishes and Dreams. In a few weeks time, I'll be recording a video to show you how I take my dahlias out of storage and pot them up and then how I look after them until we have our last frost and then plant them out of the garden. 
If you've enjoyed this video today, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Anyway, let me show you what I've got in the box. Let me, look, look. Anyway, let me, show you, let me show you what I've got in the box. Butterfly, I've got, that's really annoying. And I will do a video about putting up my tulips. <laughs> I will.